Hello there, time to meet my new crush. You've seen the Bobbi Brown crushed lip formulas on my channel many times before, but the newest member of the family, the Crushed Oil Infused Lip Glosses launched in January this year. The name Crushed Oil Infused Gloss doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but boy do these glide onto lips. As the name suggests, this formula walks the line between a lip oil and a lip gloss, a zone I'm more than happy to get lost in at the moment. I'm loving all of the new launches in this category lately. There are 15 shades in the range and I have all of them here to swatch for. I very rarely have an entire product range this large to share. If I like the look of a new launch, I might buy one or two shades that are the most me, or sometimes I'm sent a few as press samples, but Bobbi Brown Australia very generously surprised me with the whole gloss gang. So I'm glad I can help all of you compare the range, make an informed call on a color, or just enjoy seeing lots of satisfying swatches. This gloss is described as a super smooth, ultra hydrating, never sticky formula. It contains hyaluronic acid and vitamins C and E, big ticks for hydration there, and other botanical oils like avocado and jojoba. Like the rest of the crushed family, these are designed to create a sheer wash of color. So you're not really in the right place for a super pigmented gloss, but these are lovely for a more sheer buildable look. To me, a lip oil usually means something more lightweight and nourishing, whereas a gloss is often a bit thicker. The texture of these is incredibly balmy, light and comfortable, and they do feel fairly nourishing, so I'd say it leans more towards lip oil territory. And yet it also has a great smooth glide like a gloss when you rub your lips together and high shine when first applied, which fades to more of a balmy, hydrated shine over time. Really the best of both formula worlds here, and as this message I received a couple of days ago tells you, other lip glosses need to lift their game. I really think it's one of the most comfortable glosses I've ever tried. Nice flat paddle applicator that glides onto the lips and feels really plush and soft. These have a slightly citrusy scent and taste that reminds me of the rest of the crushed range. Not something that bothers me at all, but many of you have commented on the scent in the past. There are 12 core colors and three limited edition shades designed by Yara Shahidi, the 20 year old actress, activist, and Bobbi Brown ambassador, and someone I've featured in my celebrity makeup bag series before. Love her style. I just wish she'd made four shades so it could spell out her name perfectly. Let's get into the swatches, then I'll show you how these compare to their previous crushed liquid lip and crushed lip color formulas at the end. You can hear more about those two in a big comparison video I made last year. First up, Sweet Talk is called a light beige, a classic, very fair nude shade, slight touch of apricot to it on me, and a little bit creamy looking because it's much lighter than my natural lip color. This one is the fairest in the range, but I would have loved to see them include a completely clear gloss too. Forever Chill is one of the shades from Yara Shahidi's trio. It's called a warm, tawny beige nude. This is where your natural lip color and undertones play a big part in how sheer colors come across because it's sadly not very flattering on me, almost a bit of a yellowy brown, but it looks so nice on Yara and she says it's her new go-to nude. Free Spirit is called a lush pink beige. It's definitely one of my favorites and comes across as a really pretty peachy nude on me. The sheer effect can be built up slightly, but it's generally going to look quite subtle and natural, almost like the amount of color you'd get from an emollient tinted balm. In the Buff is called a beige rose. It seems fairly similar to Free Spirit to me, but comes across slightly more pink and a little bit more fair. I definitely notice the lighter shades are a fair bit more sheer and less pigmented than a few of the deeper shades we'll get to later. New Romantic is called a mid-tone neutral pink, another very subtle shade that's slightly more rosy than the two tones above and only one letter away from being a Taylor Swift song. The color is very soft and delicate. Sorry, couldn't resist. Taylor was the latest celebrity makeup bag on my channel last weekend. Force of Nature is described as a medium pink brown, really my kind of color. On me, it's very natural and only slightly deeper than my natural lip color, so it's really easy to swipe on in a hurry and look slightly more polished, a very pretty rosy brown. Love Letter is called a sheer bright rose and we're starting to enter into more pink territory here. Definitely a very girly, soft, spring sort of color. There's almost a touch of mauve to it. It's a very cool rose and really does remind me of the color of some garden roses. Freestyle is called a soft, coral pink. Definitely more on the coral side on me and more my sort of color than a true cool pink. It's a bit more vibrant and fresh and punchy and a bit more pigmented than the others we've seen so far too. Wild Card is described as a sheer bright coral and it definitely looks like that in the tube but on my skin tone it's almost a very soft orange. More apricot than coral but I really like it. Definitely a nice spring sunny shade for those of you heading into that season in the northern hemisphere. Hot Streak is called a bright yellow red. To me it's really Really just a warm vibrant red in the tube but interestingly on my skin it has more pink to it than I expected. Definitely thought it would be more of a real fire engine red. I wish it were more at that end rather than this kind of coral. 
In the flow is the second shade designed by Yara Shahidi. It's called a vibrant red berry and she describes it as a rosy colour she loves for a springtime pop of colour. I'd call it a lovely purpley berry. I actually quite like that even the deeper shades that are more pigmented are still nice and sheer so they can hopefully suit more skin tones. Rock and Red is called a true blue red but I actually think it's a lot deeper than the kind of red that comes to mind with that description. A true blue red to me is something like Ruby Woo or Velvet Ribbon by Lisa Eldridge, but this has a darker feel and more of a berry tone to it. Still a beautiful shade, but I wish there was a true red in this range too. Swapping to more berry tones to finish with Spring Bliss, the final shade designed by Yara Shahidi. This is a pinky rose that she wanted to create to suit all skin tones. It's a pretty mauvey pink on me, but it's definitely very subtle. Don't expect it to match the color in the tube. Slow Jam is called a neutral creamy plum. This is lovely, a deeper, ever so slightly browny berry. Not super pigmented for a plum. Again, it's much more subtle than the tube color would suggest, but it's a nice subdued berry for an autumnal feel. Last but not least, After Party is a deep wine, so deep and vampy, like a great brownie berry in the tube, but again, not quite the same when I swatch it. It's a lot more of a rich purple berry than the packaging comes across, but still a nice way to wear a deep color in a more approachable, sheer way. I ran out of room on my arm, so I had to do this in two sections, but here they all are. Sweet Talk, Forever Chill, Free Spirit, In the Buff, New Romantic, Force of Nature, Love Letter, Freestyle, Wild Card, Hot Streak, In the Flow, Rock and Red, Spring Bliss, Slow Jam, and After Party. You can see this formula has such a juicy shine when first applied. It's a really wet look, but I do find after a while that shine becomes slightly more dull and balmy on the lips. Like a really emollient tinted balm that still makes your lips look nice and smooth and plump, but not the really luminous light catching gloss it starts out as. I'd say that's partly due to the formula. To stay this shiny, it would probably have to be a bit thicker and tackier on the lips, so I'm happy to go with comfort over shine. So many different colors to choose from, so I'd love to hear your favorites if you've tried this formula. Mine would have to be Free Spirit, Force of Nature, Hot Streak, Rock and Red and Slow Jam. Now let's take a quick look at the rest of the Bobbi Brown Crushed family to see where this new formula fits in. You can find a more detailed comparison of the Crushed Lip Colour and Crushed Liquid Lip in a previous video on my channel, but I also wanted to bring in their Lux Shine Intense formula this time given we're talking about comfort and shine. First, the closest match, the crushed liquid lip, which isn't really what you'd think from the name. Liquid lipsticks to me are often matte, maybe a bit drying, but this is essentially a gloss that's really balmy and really pigmented. Plenty of pumped up color. You can see just from the first stroke that this vibrant red cherry crush is much more pigmented than the rock and red gloss above. You can definitely layer this formula to be more opaque. And I also find the consistency of this slightly thicker than the crushed glosses. They're both balmy and comfortable, but this one feels like there's slightly less slip when you rub your lips together. My obsession with the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color Formula has been well documented on my channel and it's one of the products I get the most messages about because many of you love it now too. I love them because they feel like a creamy, comfortable lipstick but look like a muted, blotted lip straight from the tube. This is Ruby, a beautiful, rich, brownie red. Nice and sheer so I can swipe it on on the go without a mirror, but because it's a satin matte, it has great lasting power. My go-to formula for a big work day or a meeting where I don't want crazy intense color but do want it to last. To finish, I wanted to bring in the Bobbi Brown Lux Shine Intense Lipstick. This popped up in my autumn makeup video last year and my 2019 favorites too. Claret is a beautiful burnt rosy berry red. It's sleek, sophisticated and glides on for intense color, luscious shine and a rich creamy feel. You can see it's much more pigmented than the rest of the crushed family. So if you're looking for comfort and shine, but more color, you're in luck. There they all are. The crushed oil infused gloss, crushed liquid lip, Crushed Lip Color and Lux Shine Intense Lipstick. Different textures and finishes, they're all really nice, but the original Crushed Lip Colors and the new Crushed Oil Infused Glosses are my favorites. Let me know which of these four formulas you've tried or which one appeals to you most. I hope this big swatching video was helpful. I'd love to hear which shades you might have your eye on now, or maybe you'll be skipping these because you already have a crush on other glosses in your collection. While we're here, please share the most comfortable lip gloss formulas you wear. I'll be sharing some of my favorites in a video soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.